Yo, 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 it's Big Ant May. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV. Had to come tap in real quick, man, on the QC CEOP, man. Uh, he came out today and tweeted out a few things after the Grammy nominations that go down in 2021 was put up today. And basically, he was like, hey, man, whoever making the decisions at the Grammys, you are all di you all disconnected like a motherfucker. You don't speak for our culture. And, you know, a lot of people, uh, but he did congratulate all the other nominees, though. You know what I'm saying? My turn album of the year. He says, some things don't make sense to me, but you just have to be grateful in life. Keep going. Grammys. Now, some people might feel a way about this. Some people might not. But these are the uh, nominated albums for the best rap albums of the year. You got Black Habits, D Smoke, Alfredo, Freddie Gibbs, and The Alchemist. A written testimony, J Electronica, and King's Disease, Nas. Now, I'll say this, man. Um, these are all pretty dope projects. I didn't listen to D, uh, Black Habits, D Smoke Project. Uh, I don't even know who that is. I will be all the way honest. There's a lot of rappers in the game that I don't know about. But when you're talking about who was controlling the, the radio and the streets, visuals, collabs, and everything as a whole, you got to say Lil Baby is most definitely in one of those top artists in the game. Now, album-wise, I don't know what they really graded on. I don't know what they picking it off of and everything like that. But, you know, my turn did crazy numbers. My turn sold a lot. And my turn, whether you think of it as a traditional hip-hop album or not, Baby, Lil Baby was rapping his ass off on this whole motherfucking album. What do you feel like is your type of music, your type of lyrics, or traditional hip-hop boom-bap sound? You know, we listen to that too. But this was a great album, man. This nigga told you about his life. He told you about his struggle. Told you about his pain. And he celebrated life with the partying, the fashion, the drip, everything else. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Emotionally scarred and social distance, distancing, man, these... These songs was going crazy, man. He rapped for what's going on right now in the day. So I personally felt like, in my personal opinion, Lil Baby could have rap album of the year over the other acts. That's not this playing downplaying them or their credibility as rappers and lyricists, but I feel like Lil Baby could have got it. We do know that, you know, people in the Grammys, they're not really aware who's causing the real impact with their album. True, Nas is a legend. Freddie Gibbs can rap. Everybody on these lists can rap. There's a lot of hip-hop lyricists, but at the end of the day, this is still categorized as rap, whether you like it or not. Now, Lil Baby did get some other nominations. He should have taken the award home. I think The Bigger Picture was nominated for, uh, you know, three other, uh, The Bigger Picture song, you know, for the uh, George Floyd and Equal uh, Social Injustice. It got nominated for several things, but... You know, you want that rap album of the year, especially when that album did this good, lasted this long, got this many streams, sold this much, and the album was charting number one consistently for a long time. Lil Baby was running the charts. So this is that that that's some crazy shit, man, to see that he didn't get rap album of the year. And I would think he did. This is my personal opinion. There's no disrespect to nobody else. Lil Baby actually deserved rap album muddy year from the Grammys. Like I say, this is his time. And you don't get these times again often, man. Once you in your bag, you in your bag. It's hard to come back and get it later. Now, Lil Baby could possibly do it. He got the talent. He got the team. He got the energy. He got the, uh, you know, the visuals. I think he could do it, but it's like, damn, I got it this year, man. This is my height. Let me go and get that album of the year right now. But, you know, it is what it is. Dog gonna bounce back. This ain't going to hurt nothing. Shout out to Lil Baby. Shout out to QC. Shout out to P, the whole team, Coach K, um, uh, everybody over there, man. Subscribe to the channel, Urban Politics TV, man, 1,000.